wondering what is God's will for your life? Are you wondering what should you major in? What occupation? Where you want to work? Who do you want to become? All of those are important, and God has a plan. But his plan is far-reaching. It's not just about fulfilling the answers to everyone's prayer, oh Lord, should I be a doctor, or should I be a pastor, or even a teacher. God desires us to be healthy. After all, to become a doctor, a teacher, a pastor, or different occupations that you would desire to fulfill, you must have the strength, you must have the vigor, you must have the physical capability. And so today's topic is on health. Health does not depend on chance. It is the result of obedience to the laws of our body, the laws that God has given to govern our nature. For example, when you think of those who, are, who participate in athletic games, be it basketball, football, soccer, they train, they exercise, they drink water, they eat correctly, they submit themselves to strict discipline. Why? So they can perform, so they can do well, so in fact, so their team could win either the Super Bowl for football or the World Series for baseball. How about the issues of life? the crown that we are running towards, the place, the heavenly kingdom that we desire to go to. Of course, it is by the grace of God, but did you know that the grace of God plays through our body, our thinking, our souls, our mind, everything that we think or express goes through the medium of our body. So here's what I mean. If I want to preach or if I want to teach, but yet I'm always feeling dizzy or I'm always feeling sluggish or tired or just have my, or my emotions are out of whack, it's going to affect my preaching. So God gives us a promise in, John, in 3 John to verse 2. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may as prosper and be in health even as your soul prospereth. So yes, it is true that Jesus wants us to be spiritual, but it's also true that he wants us to be healthy. The battles that we go through in life depends on our health, not just the battle at work between co-workers or a boss. I'm talking about the spiritual battles. Someone may ask what I eat. Is God going to keep me out of heaven because I eat this or because I eat that? To me, in my opinion, I believe that's a faulty question. Rather, one should ask the things that I'm eating, is it going to make me healthy? Is it going to make me unhealthy? And if the answer is unhealthy, then it's going to affect the way we think, it's going to affect the way we live, it's going to affect our relationship with God. Thus, it's going to, thus we're going to, the outcome is going to be making not the best decisions in life. One of my favorite writers by the name of Ellen G. White says in the book Ministry of Healing, the mind and the soul find expression through the body. Both mental and spiritual vigor are in great degree dependent upon our physical strength. Are you strong or are you weak? Our bodies filled with nutrients, our bodies filled with the correct things that we eat will strengthen us, not only to serve God, but to serve humanity, to serve our families, to serve Perhaps your children, if you have any, your wife or husband, if you're married. The main point of this lesson on health is exercise. Eat healthy food because what we eat affects how we perform our daily activities in life. So when you're thinking about being a doctor, think about 
Do you have the stamina to get through? When you're thinking about being a preacher, think about do you have the stamina and the daily strength? All of this goes back to are you healthy? Thank you for joining us. God bless. Thank you.